so hello guys welcome back to codingpursuit.com so in the previous video we have learned how to install the flutter sdk and how to set up the ios and android mobile application development setup on our mac machine so we will extend that topic in this video we are going to create our first flutter project on mac and we will also run that project or application on our ios simulator android emulator and chrome browser as well so this is a complete package of video so are you excited me too so stay tuned and watch the video till the end so guys for to ease the creating project for flutter application and to debug and run application microsoft has provided an awesome tool which is called vs code let's go to vl studio code code.vlstudio.com and from here we will download this tool and this tool will help us to create and to run our application on different platform you do not need to remember so many command line instructions you just have this tool and with the help of gui you can run your application on any active device so click on download mac universal so it is saying thanks for downloading vs code and your download will start automatically let's wait a while until our downloading is starting so as you can see here vs code is going to be installed let's wait a while until the downloading process is completed so our vs code is downloaded double click to launch its setup and click open so vs code is open now from the extensions on the left side we have to download and install two extension which will aid us or help us to create and run flutter project so first one is the flutter you just have to install it so i already have installed it you can see the install button here in the same way next plugin is dart and I also downloaded and installed Dart extension into my visual code. So you just have to click the install button if you have not already installed this extension. So now let's come towards our next step that is creating our first Flutter project. So for this we will have to open the palette for this type shift command and P. And from here you will see the palette and from here click flutter and on the top you will see new project and from here select application and it will require your installation directory and finally the project name press enter button yes i trust the authors so it may take some time to create our project so your flutter project is ready now it's time to run our project first on ios simulator for this i will launch the xcode and i will create a new xcode project just for the sake of launching my simulator and from here I will write the product name as hello world and the interface with UI language as Swift and click next button and finally I will select the directory for creating my project click on create button so our project is ready now we have to launch the xcode for this we click on hello world schema and from here we can select our favorite simulator for the moment i will select iphone 12 pro simulator and simply press this run button so it will help us to start 
the iOS simulator for iPhone 12 Pro. So it may take some time. So meanwhile, we will go to the Android Studio. So here we will launch our Android emulator because we have to run the application on Android emulator. So it must be in running form. For this, we will click on more action and select the first virtual device manager. And from here, we already have created our emulator. You can see our previous video for this and simply play this button. So, so our Android emulator for our Pixel 3a API 31 is going to be ready. And we can also see our iPhone simulator as well. So both devices are ready. Click the home button so that we can see the home screen. So now let's come back to our VS code. And from here we can see on the bottom right side we have different devices currently it is detecting pixel 3a android emulator and when i'm double click on it i can see iphone 12 pro simulator is also listing and chrome browser is also listing so we will test the our application one by one first select the first one we have selected pixel 3a android emulator and from the main right click on it and from here click on start run without debugging so it may take some time to run our application on android emulator let me open it and we can see the status of task in the debug console So as you can see here, our Android emulator is running our Flutter application and here we can run our application and play with it. Now stop the task. Now we are going to select iPhone 12 Pro simulator and make sure iPhone 12 Pro simulator is listed here. Now again, repeat the same process, right click on main. And from here, click on run without debugging. So now it is launching and running application on Android 12 simulator. Let me launch the simulator as well. So here we can see our simulator and you can see the overall progress in our debug console. And you can see here now our application is running on our iPhone simulator. And in the same way, I will also place my Android emulator side by side. And here was our application. So this is our Android emulator. This is our simulator and our Flutter application is running on both emulators. Now, now stop the process. And from the devices, now we are going to select our Chrome device and again repeat the same process click main and from here select run without debugging now let's wait a while until our application is launched in our chrome browser so you can see here now our application is running in our chrome as well so we have android emulator we have simulator and we have web browser. So all platform are running our application and the interface is the same and the behavior is the same. So guys, hope you have enjoyed the video. So in this video, we have covered to run your Flutter application on Android emulator, on iOS simulator and on Chrome browser on Mac operating system. So hope you have enjoyed the video. This is enough for this session. See you in next video. Please like, share our video, comment on our video and subscribe to our channel.